G'day guys, I'm Hayden from Graco Australia and with me today we have our Graco Magnum X5 airless paint sprayer. It's one of our most popular airless sprayers, absolutely perfect for DIYers, fixer-uppers, renovators, maintenance people, spraying everything from the fence, exterior walls, the roof, interior walls, ceilings, doors, trims, decking, the list goes on. It's a very, very popular airless sprayer. Now today's tech tips, I have a question for you. How do you set the correct spraying pressure? Anyone know? Well, let's have a look. Start by turning the pressure control knob up, past the roller position, past the prime and clean position, into the spray position, right there. That's where we want to start. Now let's do our first test spray. Now always remember that you have the gun moving before you pull the trigger. So here we go, gun moving, pull the trigger. Now when we zoom in close here, what you can see are two heavy edges. Tracking, we call that railway tracks. And what that means is there's not enough pressure at the tip to atomize the paint properly. So what we need to do now is just turn up the pressure control just a little bit more and then we'll do another test spray and see how we go. Now remember again, have the gun moving and then pull the trigger. So here we go, gun moving. Oh, that's looking a lot better. Right, so I've turned the pressure control up just a little bit more and let's do another test spray. Remember to have that gun moving, pull the trigger. You can see a little bit of tracking just here and there. So let's bump up that pressure. Look. That's perfect. Nice soft edge. There's no gaps. Look at that spray fan. That is perfect. It's exactly what you want to be looking for. Look at that edge, nice and clean. No tracking, no lines, no gaps. It's even from one side right across to the other. And that's exactly how you set up your spraying pressure. Start at the lower setting, test spray, turn it up a little bit more if you need to, test spray, until you eliminate those railway tracks and you've got no gaps, you've got a nice even fan, even film build from one side to the other, nice clean lines, um, and that is absolutely perfect. So, Hopefully that helps you and next time a customer comes into your store and just ask you to run them through how to set up the Ela sprayer and how to set the pressure, there you go. That's the exact right way to set your spraying pressure. All the best guys.